Good morning. I'd like to warn you, I got up ridiculously early today and had a little too much coffee. So I'm feeling fine. I want to center myself today, start the week off right. So I would like to invite you to do my yoga practice. We're going to do it in sitting. Ready? Inhale, lift your arms to the sky. Breathe. Exhale, lower them down. Inhale. And exhale. Last time, inhale. Keeping one arm up only, drop the other one and exhale, lean toward the side. Keep your chest facing forward, belly button into spine, parts that shouldn't be touching that chair. Suck it on up, point your, your armpit up to the sky. Inhale, raise the other arm and drop the original one down. Go the opposite way with an exhale. Sit up nice and tall, shoulders away from the ears. Inhale, lift your arm up to the sky, cactus your arms back, and exhale. Bring your arms back, but more importantly, lift your chest up. Allow your front of your chest to feel a gentle stretch. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, we're gonna work some arms. Bring your hands down onto your thighs, elbows close to your sides, slowly lower yourself down, belly button to spine, no movement right here at all. And then using your arms, lift yourself back up. Let's go for three, two, one. And repeat, did you feel it back here? Let's flow through it. Inhale, lift your arms up high. Exhale, drop one and over to the side. Keep your knees together, work your inside thighs. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, repeat the other direction. Inhale, cactusing your arms. Reach back, exhale. Inhale, hands to thighs. Three push-ups, one. Remember, elbows squishing into sides, belly button into spine, shoulders away from ears. Three. Inhale, exhale, drop to the side. Nice. Inhale, drop the other way. Oh, inhale and exhale to cap his arms back. Inhale, hands to thighs, and three push-ups. One, two, three. Bringing one leg now toward the side of your chair. I'm gonna go in the front so you can see. Moving your hip as straight down, your knees straight down as you can, belly button to the spine. Try not to arch your back. You should feel a gentle stretch in here. If you're not, scoot yourself a little bit forward further, but make sure your belly button is so tight there's no overarch in your spine. We don't want to hurt you. Inhale, lift up, and exhale and hold this position. You could keep your arms way up, out in front of you, cross them. The point is shoulders are away from the ears. Shoulder blades are pinched together, and it's primarily for a stretch here, a strengthening here, as well as a chest opener. I'm going to bring my arms back up. Inhale, exhale. Keep your legs where they are. Twist your spine toward me. Remember what your doctor said. If he's not saying a twist, hold the other posture. It's perfect. Stay here and breathe. Bring your shoulders down away from your ears. Use your stomach muscles to twist yourself open, but your knees are still pointed that way. Strengthen your fingertips. This is called a warrior position. Look a little tough. Inhale, bring your hands forward, and exhale. Bring the front arm down toward your front leg and lift your back leg up. Hold it and relax for a second. 
What you can do with the front arm is you can rest it on your thigh, your forearm or your hand. You can stay in more of this position is fine. What else can you do? You can take the top arm and bring it behind you. The goal though is to bring our chest up and open to the sky. We're really working the stretching of our stomach muscles, our diaphragm, all of our breathing muscles. Let's bring our arms back to a T. Inhale and reverse. Bring the back arm down toward the back thigh. The front arm is lifting. The armpit is going up. Our chest is facing each other. Our stomach muscles are tight, but our knees are this way. And reach back. Now we're not gonna hold this much longer uh, the next time around. We're gonna do one more side and then we're gonna flow through it because I know it's hard strengthening right now. Inhale, bring your feet together again. You could face forward, I'm going to the side. And let's do our three push-ups. One, belly button and a spine, arms pinned to the side. Really try to push up using the back of our arms. The back of the arms help us get out of the chair if we have the strength. It also helps us not to flop our wings. Come to the other side of the chair, bring your leg back. I'm gonna to come to the front so you can see me better. Again, we want to set up, we want our knee right below our hip, belly button and the spine, no excess arch. We're going to have that natural curve, but that's it. If this is not enough, scoot yourself forward, but the goal though is to keep that belly button tight and no pain here. Inhale, lift your arms up to the sky. Remember, you can keep it here, you can keep it in front, you can cross. The point is shoulders away from ears, shoulder blades squeezing together like you're holding money here. Inhale, exhale, swing the arms only around and your chest and just relax and breathe here. You can maintain this, you can grab to the chair if that helps you. Our goal though is our knees are pointing this way our belly buttons into spine. We've got the lengthening here. We've got a twist. We have a build going. Shoulders away from ears. Open up your chest a little so you're really feeling the stretch in here. Inhale, reach forward. Exhale, drop the front arm down and lift the back one. So our, and relax. Our goal still is our chest is open. We're trying to twist our spine up the front arm can rest or it can push into that leg and that leg can push to help give you an edge. The top arm can wrap around you. It could come in front and watch your shoulders. And we're going to hold for just a quick second more. Bring your arms back to a T. Inhale, lift the front arm up. Exhale, reach back. We're still keeping our legs one way. We're still facing each other. We should be feeling a little bit of a pinch, not a pain, but an activation of the muscles here and a stretch here. Keep your shoulders away from your ears. Inhale and exhale. Bring your legs together again. Hands on your thighs. And let's go for three hearty push-ups. One, two, three. Ready to flow it? Let's begin. First leg is back. I'm going to come up forward so you can see. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, open your arms to the side. Inhale, reach forward. Exhale, drop the arm. Inhale, lift your arms to the T and then an exhale, bring it back. Inhale and exhale. Bring your legs together. Three hearty push-ups. One, two, three. Taking that pause to reset the other leg back. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, open up. Take your time. Breath the movement for yourself. Inhale, reach forward. Exhale, drop the front arm down. 
Inhale, bring your arms to a T and then backwards with an exhale. Come on back up with an inhale. Legs together with an exhale. Three push-ups. One, two. Good job, you guys. We're at 10 minutes. What a fantastic yogi. It's like a, can't, a clock watcher, huh? You all know that from past videos. Inhale, lift your arms up. Well, we swap to the original side again. Inhale, exhale, open up to a T. Inhale, reach forward. Exhale, way up to the sky with a twist. Inhale, come up to a T. Exhale, go backwards. Inhale, coming up, bringing your legs together. Three push-ups. One, two, three. Nicely done. Dropping the one leg back. So resetting yourself. Inhale. And exhale, open up. Inhale, reach forward. Exhale, twist. Bring your arms back up with an inhale. Exhale, lean backwards. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, final three. One, two, three. Now I'm going to stay at a diagonal so you can watch me and do. We're gonna move on. Catch your breath a little, right? Recheck your posture. Let's add some uh, twists. Twists help with digestion. A lot of times now we're not moving. If we're not moving, we're not getting thirsty. We're not drinking a lot. We're getting all that crampiness in our belly. So we're gonna do the twisting part. Let's bring one leg up and over. If you're a little stuck in this posture and it's not feeling it, Come this way, come this way. It doesn't matter, it's your workout. Inhale, bring your arms up to the sky though, palms together, bringing your opposite elbow to that thigh. Exhale and hold here. Belly button into spine. Remember what your doctor said, not everybody should be twisting. Our goal though is to get our chest, at least our, the middle of our chest coming up to at least our thighs. So we're pushing into each other and we're rotating. If this is not the most uh, fun for you right now, you can get your arms out. You could stay up in just a spinal twist too. As long as you're twisting, as long as you're protecting your lower body, it's fine. We can get our head up to the sky or down. You might also feel a good behind stretch here. Fantastic. Let's hold for another four, three, two, one. Coming back up, regrouping, other leg over. Remember your, your choices. Sitting up nice and tall is the most thing. Inhale, lift your arms up to the sky. Exhale, bring your palms to each other. Bring yourself forward, opposite elbow to opposite thigh. Spine is nice and long though. We're doing our bend at our hip only. And hold here and just breathe. Bring your elbows away from, excuse me, your shoulders away from your ears. Rotating your chest up toward where your thumbs would be. Belly button into spine and hold. You have your options though, right? And let's hold for another four, three, two, one. Fantastic. Bring your legs together. Scoot yourself toward the end of the chair. We are going to do what's called a kind of a reverse bridge. We're always stuck in this position with the bend. So let's keep our elbows just a little bit bent and lift up our seat. Where we should be feeling this is belly buttons into spine, shoulders away from ears. Trying to get your behind muscles doing the work in the back of your legs. 
and back down. And again, keep your, your knees together as close as they can be while you do this. Let's build some inner thigh muscles at the same time. If we're doing any kind of exercise, that's the good. And back down. Just catch your breath and we're gonna do a few more of those. Shoulders away from ears, chest wide open, belly button into spine, elbows slightly bent, and lift. Hold, see how long you can hold it. Sit back down if you want. If you're feeling it a lot more, bring your legs way up far. I'm just proud, as proud of you if you're lifting a quarter of an inch off the seat. My theory in life, and as I've worked in physical therapy since 1989, I found that those that do even a little bit today will help you for the future. And that's why I've named my company Strong and Able Fitness, because I really, really, really believe if you dedicate even this amount of time today, it builds up. Whew, are you feeling it? Let's do one more and then we're gonna move on to a little bit more circulation work. Set your feet down comfortably, bend your elbows, broaden your chest, belly button in the spine, lift your behind up, last time with these, promise, and bring them back down. Fantastic. Oh, <laughs> shoulders away from ears. Legs are together. Let's set this pose first. It's called the Eagle's Pose. Cross one leg up and over the other leg. You can keep it on the ground. You could bring it up. You could come up like this, or you could wrap the leg around. Our goal though is belly buttons into spine. No movement there. Notice the top leg. Lift your arms up and then swing the same sided arm as your top leg under the other one. And, uh, you, now there are options. You can bear hug. You can bring the back of the hand together. You can wrap up and around, bringing palm to palm. Our goal though is mainly belly button and spine, shoulders away from ears. Lift those elbows up as high as you can I shouldn't say as high as you can. Up to shoulder height and get your hands away from your face. We're really trying to get a tightness and help with our lymph drainage as soon as we release ourselves, as well as circulation as soon as we release. Hold here and just breathe for a few seconds. It's not the most comfortable, is it? We're gonna just settle and breathe into it. I feel a big stretch too. Is your belly button still supporting you? Are the parts lifted from the chair? Let's hold for another four, three, two, one. Uncross your arms, shake them out, uncross your legs. Whew, relax those and now take the other leg up and over. Remember it could be down here, it could be here, it could be here. The, it could be wrapping around. The goal though is that we're sitting up nice and tall. Our back is away from the back of the chair. Lift your arms up and whichever side is lifted here, we want that same arm underneath for a twist. So we could either bear hug, we could put back of hands together, we could come around palm to palm, shoulders away from ears. We're really trying to squeeze those shoulder blades together though, belly button into spine. Lift your elbows up to shoulder height if you're able and get those hands away from your face. Really trying to get what's unpleasant at this point, but it'll help with circulation, like I said, and lymph drainage and everything else. Lymph nodes are good to help fight infection. We've got that coronavirus going around. It's flu season. It's also allergy season. A lot of us have the sniffles, which is ridiculous. Right now, we're away from everybody and we're sneezing. It's springtime. Let's hold for a little bit longer. Belly button is fine. Parts lifted off the chair. And we'll stop in four, three, two, one. 
And let's shake out our arms, lower, lower. We're at 20 minutes, you guys. It feels like a good workout, doesn't it? Let's bring our arms forward, far forward. Allow everything to round out and stretch as far forward as you can. And then open up. This time, if you're able, allow the big arch in your spine. Allow yourself to lean your chest as far up and out as you can, going over that big ball. If it's hurting, it's because we're collapsing, so we want to lift up and over the giant beach ball. Let's go forward with an inhale. And open up with an exhale. Maybe my breath is the wrong. Take some time and do it in your own right now. Forward and back. Keeping your knees together though. Inhale. This will probably be an exhale for my yogis. And inhale. And exhale. Whew, there we go. And inhale. Open up. Take a few more rounds for yourself. Inhale. Exhale. Two more. Inhale. And last time. Come join me when you're ready. Bringing one leg, uh, wrap your hands underneath one thigh, flex your foot towards your head, belly button to spine, lift, lift, lift like you're nine feet tall in that chair, and bring your leg out. We should be feeling a stretch here, a stretch here. Nothing should be in the back because if it is, that means that your leg's too high and you're rounded. Let's point and flex and breathe. I hope you're having a nice settling yoga. Hope your body is feeling a little bit of a buzz of excitement. Feeling muscles that need to be woken up. Brain that needs to be woken up. Or at least a little bit of a fun diversion. Let's relax in four, three, two, one. Reset yourself. Remember, belly button is a spine, chest broad and open, shoulders stay away from the ears. Grab the other leg. Flex your foot towards your head first, and then lift it. Toe pointed forward, again, feeling here and here, nothing in your back. If it is, lower your foot to the ground. Belly button stays into the spine. I'm using my arms to kind of resist my poor posture. And let's bring our toe forward and back. Flex and point. Point and flex. Point and flex. And let's just feel it here. And let's do something different. We're going to start cooling ourselves down in four, three, two, one. Bring your legs back down. Inhale, breathe, raising your arms up. And exhale. We're taking that flow that we did at the start of class and we're gonna do it again. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, drop one arm down. Open up to the side. And exhale and just relax into it. Feeling your calmness. Inhale, lift your arm up. And exhale, lower the other arm to the side. And lean over the other way. Inhale, lift your arm up. Exhale, bring your arms into a cactus. And lean back. Beautiful. Inhale, lift your arms up, and exhale and breathe. We're going to repeat two times more total, and then we'll sign off for what's called a savasana, where I'm just going to actually leave the chair and let you just hear some music for a few seconds. It's a little bit different than normal, but I want you to take the time for yourself. Especially this point in time, we need some time to just forget the world, stay deep inside ourselves. 
Inhale, drop one arm. And exhale and lean. Beautiful. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, other side. Inhale, lift your hands. Cactus, exhale, lean back. Inhale, lift up. And exhale, just breathe. Last time. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, dropping that arm. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, drop the other arm. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, cactus and backwards. Inhale, bring your hands to palm center. Lower them with an exhale to your heart center. Push your hands into each other. Your chest bone into your hands now and your hands into your chest bone to open this shoulders away from ears, belly button into spine. Hearts that shouldn't be touching the chair, lift it up. Take a moment to thank yourself for being in this present moment. As well, like I said, I will leave the chair and let the music just run. Um, so you take a few seconds extra for yourself. From my open heart to yours, thanking you for giving me the time, thanking you for taking time for yourselves. Namaste.